Well, look what we have here. I'm back. I just ended the last video. Now I'm going to my real challenge for tonight. Is I'm gonna model Shin Yan's drums from Genshin Impact. So my friend's cosplaying as Shin Yan and I'm helping with obviously the prop part. So I'm making the bass guitar as well as the drums. The drum the bass guitar I haven't printed yet. But since it's I need to stream and model something, I might as well stream me making uh, the drums. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, my dog is right there. Obviously, he's taking a little nap. A little tired today. A little pooped out. But uh, yeah, feel free to just chill and uh, join the stream. Talk about whatever. Anyways, I'll get started. Um, as you see on my screen, I already made divisions. So I just need to make the drum part. This is the standard Lee wait wait is this it? These same size? Uh oh. Oh nope, those are it. Okay. So I already have the base vision. I just need to build around the base vision. So I need to build the drums. So I'm gonna insert my canvas and luckily enough I took a couple screenshots. Well, I took a screenshot <laughs> right before I came here. I don't know if it's the best screenshot. Looking at the angle now, but this is what I got so far. So I should turn off the other other stuff real quick. Nope, I need that one. Turn everything else off. So as you see, my workplace is pretty, pretty messy there. All right, let's scale it up. Dun dun dun. It's about that size. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there's the drum size. This is how big it should be in real life now. I think to make my life easier, I'm gonna trash everything else I had. Cause I already have this saved somewhere else. I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. So you won't have to see any of that. Why don't you go in the trash mesh body? Whatever. All right, looking at this drums, pretty simple. Just need to do a half, there's spikes on it. These spikes are not completely round, they're polygony with uh, one, two, three, six sides. So, a six side spike. Mm. How's, how's this gonna hang on? I don't know. Let's take a look at some pictures. Uh, looking at it. Oh, okay. I think it just hangs on off this belt. So as long as I can make a loop, if I can make a loop, it should be fine. Yeah. Okay. I think I got an idea. Mm, okay. Okay. All right, let's get started with the sketch. General sketch. Um, we'll go off the current shape and then shift it up to make it more centered because I think that my angle that I took this picture of is a little off center. That's why it looks not straight on. So let's make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. General arc. Probably straight here on the edges. No curvature. 
So what I'm thinking is if this was the center line, I'm thinking that it goes like and this center line. Now, since it's at an angle, I got to change it. If I make this straight, I think and then just bring this up as such. Yeah. And now we have, um, actually, uh, I don't want this here yet. What I'm thinking is be better if I went straight like that. Yeah. Now let's start with the gold ring. The gold ring is right here. Go straight up. Bam. Uh, the red mesh ring like that. Bam. And uh, then we have another gold ring here. Done. And then let's make the other side of the gold ring. And the black and all done. Okay. There's a hex design on this mesh here. So I could just skip it, or I can imprint it actually in the design. I think I'm going to imprint it in the actual design. But I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. Ah, whatever. I'll figure it out once I start revolving everything. So let's revolve. One, two, three. On this axis. New body. And let's turn the single plate off. I gotta turn off all these sketches. Vin Vincenzo has liked the stream. Thanks, Vincenzo. If I said that right. Alright, let's revolve the next part. One, two. New body. And then since since we're already here, we might as well color it. This is like a dark red. Oh, sorry. Like uh, maroon. Let's go with red. And then I'll just throw it on the red and edit it from there. So it's a little darker. Uh, right there, I think. I think. Maybe too glossy. Oh, whatever. And then this one is just a regular red. I'm just going to drop that red right there. And then it looks like the black. This is dark red as well. Let's drop that there. And then it's gold on the outer ring. So looking at the inner ring, I think I need to change the sketch a little bit more. Did you have a channel on Twitch where you do this? This thing? Yes, um, I'm actually streaming. I'm streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook all right now. Um, I think if you just look up Lee Legacy on Twitch, you can find me on Twitch and see that I'm live right now as well. And then, uh, or YouTube, either or. Almost right, yeah, Italian name, Vincenzo. Okay, cool. Oh, 
I was hoping not to embarrass myself too bad. Your work is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like my work. Oh, I don't know if you've seen my other workers, if this is your first time seeing this, my work, but I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna thicken this line. Because it seems like. Uh, oh, wait. Can I do that? Yes, I can. How about that, that thickness? Okay. That caused a little error. So let's try revolving again. Oh, I see why it caused the error. Alright, let's get rid of that. And that. I need to edit this sketch. I don't think it's touching. Yeah, it's not. Okay, cool. Okay, now it's fixed. I gotta do all that again, which is fine. New body, bam. I thought I just made it thicker, did I not? Oh, yeah, it is thicker. your project but not in live I see the finished 3d model have a nice chill fusion 360 oh thanks uh let me check I swear I put it on twitch yeah so I don't know if you can see my screen right now uh, but I am Live, just look up Lee Legacy. It says live, yeah. So, should be working. Giovanna, welcome back. I missed you. I don't know what you've been up to, work or school or whatever, but I'm glad you joined back in. You've been a little lonely. I finished the previous stream where I was modeling for uh, Jasper earlier, but uh, now I'm moving on to this. So this is where I'm at. Hope you're doing okay though. Happy Good Friday. Gonna, I want this to have a little definition, so I'm gonna bring it out one millimeter. That would be easier to paint than uh, bevel these edges by one millimeter as well. I might as well do the same thing here on this gold. So let's go one and bevel it by one. And for this red here, there's gonna be a. I need. I need a difference. I need a, a, I'm going to do negative 0.5. So the reason why I did that is it would be easier to designate when I actually paint it. Missed you too. How you doing? I'm doing good. Did y'all finish the bomb and the base? Uh, the base, I haven't printed it out yet. Uh, and then I, there's some little details on it I'm still missing, but the bomb I finished, I made changes. It's already printed out, but I painted it. I mean, like it has this priming coat on. I'll go get it in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. But it's pretty cool. I made two, I made two. I, I made one too big by accident, the original model. And then the second one, I scaled it down. I had to change the design on it, but I'll go get it in, in like five minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like, but it's pretty cool. I like it. I think I'm going to model it where it can open because I didn't do that originally on the first prototype. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. It's gonna open kind of. I'm thinking either it's just gonna open with magnets, like magnets are just um, two magnets are just holding the two sides together, or it's gonna open like a pokeball. I'm still deciding how. Pokeball seems a little. It's a little design heavy, and the the weak point would be be the joint. That's the only downside. We'll see. I'm very proud of the Cleavom so far. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So this spike. How do I want to do this spike? It's a six-sided spike. Let's just let's just make one. If we just make one then it would be easier to work with. Oh, I need project. But how are you doing, Giovanna? I've been I've been having a good day. Are you ready for this this Sunday? For Easter Sunday? Anything special coming up? Go right here. Six sides, perfect. Um, just like that. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how tall these spikes are. I think the spikes are around 20. So I will construct a separate plane 20 meters higher. Whoa, 20? Did I say 20? Yeah, that's pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. Sketch it on this. Project. This center point, and then I'm going to use my little lofting tool. Pop. No, I figured that might happen. Oh, it's because of the body thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Locked. Yeah. I'm doing great. I'm excited for Sunday to finally get to eat chocolates. Chocolates. Wait, was it because you like promised yourself you wouldn't eat chocolates and now you get to enjoy it again since I can't open it before Sunday? Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Ah, how much chocolate do you have stored up? Oh. Hey, Jasper. Wait, Jin Yen got drums? Yeah, on her backside. Right here. See? She got a drum. She played the bass in the front and then drums in the back. Which reminds me, Jasper, you just missed my recent stream. Right before this, I started this, I was streaming earlier. I want to show you what I made. Bam! I made this for you. So. You probably see it on YouTube in my previous videos, with previous lives, but I modeled this for you. And uh, yeah, uh, whenever it's done, which it is pretty much now, I'll send it to you probably tomorrow. So yeah, hope you like it. But yeah, now I'm on drums. That, that stream ended and now I'm working on the drums. Okay, okay, let's move this. Spike up. Oh yeah, I saw. 
I was looking at it as reference. So I, I think it was in my last couple images. So I saw all the, the ones you had. And then I used some of them for reference, like whether there were some details that I wasn't sure about. So I had to pay back attention for it. But yeah, I'll send you my version. I don't know if you 3D print it or you're gonna cut it, cut it out. But uh, either way, I hope you enjoy mine. I accepted your challenge for the 3D modeling thing. So, bam. All right, I'm gonna move this higher. All right, so, 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 I'm thinking this is fine. Is this spike too long? You know what? It is too long. It needs to shorten down a couple to make 18 instead. That should be better. No, still too long. 16. 16 is not bad. Okay, I'll go with that. So what I'm how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna let me turn off this body. Or probably go in like four millimeters. And now you're gonna see me revolve it around the whole thing. So we're gonna do be a pattern pattern circular I'm gonna take bodies take this and then I just pick the circle and now I need to find how many spikes are on this drum that might be a little difficult one two three four five six seven so 14 I'm guessing I might be wrong wait I have an image I should have an image it's not clear. All right, we can we can try to guess from here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Okay, good. I think it's fourteen. Oh, before I do that, let's change the color of this to white white yeah perfect perfect pattern circular body that select around this circle I need 14 of them and then bam oh I gotta move this chat up I will assume this would be like Barbara's book print, the drum and slap the vision on it. Correct. That is the plan. Since I already have the ones I already sell and make, I'm just gonna slap a vision on it. Let me change the chat box color because I see that it is white. Okay. So yeah, I had a couple of people ask me for this drum. So this will be interesting. I think the spike is too pointy. Like dangerously. Ah, whatever. People, people will just have to deal with getting stabbed in the back. I think it's sanded. Either or. Alright, so. Got that. Pretty much, that's that. Now I need to make this vision somehow stick to the drum, like you said. So I'm gonna go like that. I have to make sure it's centered, which it's not. Mm, 
less. There's an easier way to do this. Take that. Get this point to this point. Split the body as such. Take this. Get rid of that. Uh, line it. This face to the drum. Now I have one half. Now I'm going to do this. New body. So this is how it'll stick on. I'm gonna combine it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I want this hollow? I want this drum to be hollow. Ah, this might be a little troublesome. How big is this drum so far? The drum is 51. Oh. No, wait. Drum is taller than my printer. Oh, no! Well, once I double the size, it'll be taller than my printer. I was hoping to print it in one piece, but I can't do that now. What to do, what to do. I'll probably make the spike section twist off. I think I'll do that. It'll be easier that way. Should give me enough leeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giovanna says, don't worry. At least the pointy spikes will make the drum be a weapon too. Yeah, it, it definitely will make the the drums a weapon. <laughs> I feel I don't, I, don't, I don't know how it's gonna work when they wear it. Like when a person wears this, will it will the spike stab into them on the sides? Like that's what I'm worried about. I don't want someone to get stabbed on the side when they try to wear it. They're definitely gonna get stabbed on the sides, but they might. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to make it dull it down. Either dull it down or I'm gonna have to remove all the spikes on the front side so it doesn't stab you. Because realistically, I think you get hurt and you start to bleed. Look at that. That's gonna that's gonna cause a wound. This drum will probably cost you most of them most amount of 3D plastic. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it'll cost too much. If I make it hollow, if it's hollow, it should be fine. Now, if it was completely filled with like infill, then yeah, definitely it would go through a whole, maybe a whole roll. But I don't want to. I wanted to keep it light and hollow, kind of like a, like a, like a bottle. I suggest printing one half of the drum on a printer, then print the other half on the other printer. That's what I was thinking too, but I think I'm gonna print the main section here together and make these able to twist on and off. I did that before for my um, Toga canisters from Boku no Hero. So it worked out well there. So I think I can do it here again. Nick, my parents won't buy me a vision on your store because they think the website is not safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that, Nick. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much safe. I used to be on Etsy, but since they uh, kicked me off of Etsy, I can't sell on there anymore. I had anime related stuff like Demon Slayer Naruto, and uh, they sent a cease and desist letter because you can't use Naruto, selling anything Naruto or Demon Slayer related on Etsy. So I got shut down because of that. But uh, you can tell your parents like, Hey, he has all this Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and all this stuff. He's he's pretty like reputable. That's that's the only thing I say would say to convince them. But um, yeah, I I don't know what else to say. I I get sales all the time, so you just gotta say, hey, check out. Maybe show them the stream that. Um, you know, I'm not a fishy guy when it comes to not providing a product. Joshua says, make it hollow. You are right. I will make it hollow. 
All right, let's continue where I was. Mm. So the drum is almost done. I want to make this symbol here. So let's do that. Oh, I wonder if this is probably, it has to be the same symbol on both sides. Like, I swear if it wasn't, now I'm not gonna even, I, I know it is. There's no way. So I'm gonna find the picture. Which one was it? Of, I need this. Yeah, there's the same image on both sides. I need this one. 13. Uh-oh. 13. Right there. Put it right there. Let's make sure it's enlarged all the way. Good guess on positioning, I guess. Take a look at it one more time, just in case. Screenshots, 13. So there's an inner gold ring. There's obviously the original gold ring and then the inner gold ring. Okay, on nope, that's right, okay. Okay. I think I gotta change the sketch, sketch a little bit. Jasper says, just beware, making it hollow will increase the chances of it breaking. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna make the interior walls pretty strong, like maybe five millimeters thick with uh, five, five to seven millimeters thick. It should be fine. I've done it before, so it should be fine. But that's just praying for the best. It might take a, a proto. Obviously, I'm gonna have to make a prototype of it first. The first draft, and then see how it holds up by throwing it against the wall and seeing if it holds. But I'll see. Okay, right there. So I need the center, which is here. This is the outside. Let's go in inside. Let's do another inside and one more ring right there. And now let's write the words. <clears throat> I did not, not yet. I'm planning to. I. Oh yeah, which one reminds me. I have to go go I had to go get it real quick. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Y'all chill real quick. I'm gonna go get the clee bomb and show you what I have so far.
Ugh. I couldn't find the big one. But the, my very first one. But I found my smaller one. But here is... Yeah, I just primed the, the cleave bomb. So this is what it looks like as of right now. And then I have the flower right here. And then the stem. So I'll put it together real quick. I don't know where the extra big one I had is. It's, it's chilling somewhere. So I put the stem on the flower as such. And then I pop it in its little head. And I printed an extra one. Just in case it breaks. And then I didn't make the alignment pegs yet, so it can't stick together. But this is what it will look like. Hope that looks. Uh, uh. And then the flower. So good size in the hand right here. And then I've made the bottom flat so it sits straight on the table so it doesn't like fall back or forward but yeah it's pretty cool the, the big one is like like huge it's like this big but i don't know what i did with it i don't know where i threw it i threw it around that, and that's probably what happened i threw it somewhere and uh it's gone <laughs> And the guitar I haven't printed out yet, so whenever I print it out, then I'll show y'all. What is the priming in my DT class? I did not learn priming. Oh, so priming is like um, uh, prime. It's a paint. It's called a primer. You put it onto your uh, surface of your print, and. Um, It'll help get rid of the print lines that are on uh, your your 3D models. And then you sand, after it dries, you sand it and it'll be smooth. So it looks like um, super smooth. But um, for example, uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see it. There's layer lines here uh, on top of it. But once I sand it, it will be smoother because I'll be sanding the, the, the primer. And that's basically what it is. It just helps the surface be smoother. Giovanna says, ah, it turned out cuter than I thought it would be. Thank you. What if the doggo took the bigger one? Nah, there's no way. No. Did you take it? No, I don't think he did. This is, the, this is like, it's too big. It can't, he can't even, he doesn't carry or take things away that can't fit in his mouth. So it should be. He's not the culprit. Maybe, maybe it was this one. He would have taken it, but I don't think he took the big one. You should 3D print a Pokeball from Pokemon? Mm, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of people who do it already, so I didn't feel like there was a need to. This is pretty much like a Pokeball in itself. It's like a Cleavon Pokeball. But yeah. I, I'm giving to... My friend needed it. Um... I'm giving it to him this Monday. Hopefully I finish it by Monday. So I gotta wait until the primer fully dries tomorrow. And then I gotta start painting metallic on it and stuff like that. And then hopefully give it to him to Monday. We'll see. And then after it's finished, I'll probably take some better photos and uh, put it on my sh shop. Let me... I think... The screen's a little small to see it, so let me uh, let me let me do this for y'all. Yeah, there we go. Hope that's better. But yeah, I made a little hole in it where you could put a weight in it, but we'll see. I want to make it three three D magnets and a hollow inside, so it just snaps on. But that's on the next model. This is just the first prototype model. Alright, I'm gonna shrink myself back down. Let's 
fix this a little bit. And... By the way, nice wine song liar. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I enjoyed making that thing. It was super fun to make. And I, I like the videos that we, we made for it. Catlin Gabriel's SSD is that Fusion 360. I'm working on Shao Mass in Blender, but I want to learn other modeling software. And what 3D printer are you using? I'm waiting for my Creality CR10 Pro V2 to arrive in the next three days. All right, it's a lot of questions in here, but I'll answer all of them. Is this Fusion 360? Yes. Can it model? Well. Uh, you're working on shout mass and blender, but you want to learn other softwares. This is really good when it comes to simpler objects like weapons, guitars, anything like caricatures like this is fine. Um, however, this is really bad when it comes to organic shapes, such as uh, a Zhao mask, for example. Yeah, it wouldn't be good for Zhao mask. Um, like my my friend does i think zbrush and zbrush would be really good for for like zhao i think he modeled he modeled my zhao mask look this is the old model uh my newer model is i don't have it on this computer but he modeled in i believe zbrush as well so i recommend learning zbrush it costs money though that's the only downside but a lot of ex-professionals use ZBrush. Uh, what 3D printer do I use? I use a Prusa Mark III. I'll look it up and show you on the site. I mean, on stream now. Mark III S. And so I use this one. So this one's pretty pricey though. I'm not gonna lie. It's like 800. Um, I bought all mine as kits. You can pay a thousand for pre-built, but I built all mine. So I just like to learn the ins and outs. But um, I have nine of these, which 3D print for me. But I know, um, I used to have, a, actually I used to have a CR10, but I didn't like the print quality of it. And I didn't like messing with um, dialing it in almost every print. So this is uh, pretty much a print and go printer and my number one recommendation. I'm a, I'm a Prusa fanboy though, so don't get me wrong. Um, I know the Ender 3 is really good too. So it's almost similar to this, but a lot more affordable. I think it's like maybe $200 now, Ender 3. But I never used it myself and I like the features that this has. I say if, if you want to get a first printer, I would recommend this printer for, for beginners um, because it's literally a push and go printer. And then, um, but since you already got the CR10, um, it'll take a while to dial it in, like to fine tune it to get it to where you where you like it. But yeah. And then Jasper says you could use Sharp 3D like me. Yes, Jasper uses Sharp 3D. Which is, by the look of it, looks very similar to Fusion, but you can use like a stylus. I use mouse and keyboard. But, uh... Yeah. Blender is not bad though. Um, Blender is actually really good. But I work faster in Fusion 360 and I'm not professional in Blender. So, I'm trying to learn it. But I'm not confident in it at all. I can't model in it. All right, let me get back to this. Dun, dun, dun. Drums. But luckily, most props are, I can get away with using Fusion 360. Organic stuff I can't do, such as, like I said, um, Zhao Mask. Yeah, Zhao would, it would be close to impossible for me to try to model that. All right, 
But if, yeah, if, if, you, if anyone else has any questions regarding 3D printing, let me know. I'd love to answer. Does uh, Sharp 3D, is it free? I, I don't know if it's free or not. Or do you have to, or do you pay for it, Jasper? Oh, that's good to hear, Nick. I'm glad that they said yes, and they don't think I'm a, a fishy guy who's going to rob you of your money. <laughs> but I'm glad they agreed. No rush on the, the weight, though. It'll take some time. Anyways, do you, uh, what did you, which vision did you have in mind? That way I know in advance, kind of, that I can uh, have one almost ready to be made for you. So you don't have to wait too long because usually I have a long way to people who ordered vision so far and they wait is usually three weeks but I, I think I can expedite it for for y'all any if anyone here orders but don't let anyone know that it's just it's just my followers <laughs> You know the Chinese symbol on the drum is called symbol, but it's more stylish. I do not. I don't even know what the symbol means. I'm just copying. <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Base? Tell me. Tell me. It says base. I'm hoping it means based or rock. That's my. That would be my guess. Steven S. Lopez says, hey, welcome to the stream, Steven. I'm just uh, 3D modeling uh, Shen Yen's drum real quick. And then just chatting with chat. this a little more the symbol means spirit in my opinion because the word means wind so in my opinion the meaning of this symbol in this context means wind of spirit ah that's pretty cool I wonder why wind of spirit though I would think she would like want something like fire or something like that but still, that's pretty cool. I'm glad you actually know it, because I had no clue what I was doing. I mean, like, what it meant. I got a new follower on Facebook. I think I'm missing part. This is, her sleeve is like cutting part of the, of the letters. So I'm wondering if I'm missing a portion of it.
Nope, I'm not. Oh, okay, maybe a little bit. I think I need to bring this out a bit more. Yeah, this is probably, you know, this is probably stretched out even further, like something like this. Oh, sorry. Y'all probably can't see what I'm doing. I think it's lower as such, like this. Probably straighter. And then this in more, this out more. I think it's something like that. And then I think this is actually further out. Like that. That looks more. That looks like more like it. Bam! Here's a little treat for you. Giovanna says, "I got a jump scare at the falling pop up." <laughs> Wait, at this pop up? What? Which pop up? This pop up? <laughs> Who is my favorite character? Uh, 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 that's a good, that's a hard question. I think I like, I think I like Zhao the best. I think. Yeah, I think he's my favorite. It's either him or Zhang Li, but I think I prefer Zhao. Just of the cool factor. But yeah, just the cool factor would be Zhao, but like sexy factor would be like Zhang Li for sure. But this is not including Inazuma characters though. Once Inazuma drops, I think I'm gonna go for that uh, uh, the Ayaka's uh, hubby, that the blonde hair dude. I think he would be my favorite character once he's released, but I, I don't have anything. But that's for male side. I think my favorite female character would be the the unreleased five star Cryo Claymore, Elua. I think Elua. She she pretty she. She's the new wife material right there. That's my favorite wife character. All right. No, you know when someone follow you at Facebook? Yeah, I get any alerts that you get on, uh, I can see all the follows. So anything, anytime it says follow up here, on my screen, I can see where it's coming from, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, I mean, Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. Most of the time it's just Facebook. And that's that's just because people see my posts on Facebook. Sometimes it just follow my, um, my page on Facebook, but they don't actually see the stream most of the time. The real important ones are from um, uh, YouTube or Twitch. That's how I know if they're actually uh, watching the stream or not. The cryo waifu. Yes, the cryo waifu. Nick says, I'm going to get a pyro double-sided monstat vision. Okay, I'll keep that in my mind. I'll, I'll have, I'll try to get one ready. It takes a while to like cure the resin and then paint it. But I'll keep that in mind. So when you do place the order, then it'll, it'll be expedited. Well, shipped out earlier than in anticipated. So I gotcha, Nick. Just tell me, just uh, tell me whenever you do order it and what your order number is and I'll definitely be sure to mark that down. That's true. Okay, so I'm a huge Devil May Cry fan and Ayaka's like moveset is just like Virgil from Devil May Cry. And that's why I think Ayaka's so badass. But I don't think I'll be able to pull her because I've been wasting, wasting primo gems up the butt 
And I'm using him on uh, Elua whenever she's coming out. Alright, alright, alright. So that's gold. I already extruded this. I'm gonna extrude this in. One. Right, let's turn off this canvas. Uh, I need this, this, negative one as well. Okay. And that should be it. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Okay, change of plans. Slight change of plans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extrude this part by two instead. An extra one. Oh, whoops. Negative one. Negative one. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Negative two. Oh, it's going from the sketch. Okay. Negative two. Negative two. I'm sorry. Two. And then the letters, I'll do negative one. It'd just be easier to paint, having the, the level distinction. Then let's turn off the sketches. And I think I'm gonna bevel the edges. No, don't need to. Okay, so it's dark red. Just straight up dark red. That, that, dark red. Is that dark red? Yeah. Cool. I think the words are white, whitish, like a whiter gold. So I can change that now. Oops, face. I probably need to grab another gold. Silver. And I'm gonna drop it on that. And then I'm gonna edit this silver. Oops. Edit. I'm gonna make it uh, maybe too much like that. Yeah, perfect. And then I got that. It can be lighter. Like that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. So the big issue is that freaking mesh design they have. Turn these off. All right. So the big next big thing is I have to figure out this mesh design. I think I'm gonna. Ooh, this is gonna be a little difficult. I could always use a sharpie. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you said. Steven says, I spent my luck in getting Venti and Chi Chi in single pulls. Oh, yesterday. Okay. I was trying to get Venti. And so I'm close to my pity. I started doing single and I I got to my last wish for for the day. And it came out of five star. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my god. And I'm like, wait, it's gonna be off banner, isn't it? And I got Mona. And I flipped out. I was like, crap. I was like, why? I don't want her. Give me a Duluk. Why'd you give me a Mona? So now I don't have any chance of getting Venti. And I'm just going to save Primo Gems from now on. Because Venti's, Venti is not coming home. There's not enough time. There's like four days left. I can't get enough without spending real money. Nick says, I'll get it next month. I gotcha. I gotcha, Nick. 
Which one you like more, Virgil or Dante? Mine is Virgil because he's using his katana like I do. I love Virgil. He it, Ever since he showed up in DMC3, I've been a huge Virgil fan. Like, I cosplayed Virgil before. My whole life revolves around Virgil. He's badass. So I'm a, like, die-hard Virgil fan. But yeah, I love Virgil. Dante's cool too, but in the in the order of precedence, I would go Virgil, Dante, then Nero. But I played Special Edition DMC three just because of Virgil. Okay, okay. We're back to this issue, which was uh, how am I gonna get this hex design? Let me think. This is gonna be a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be a little challenging to get to get right. Five degrees, right? To make a quarter, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how my music suddenly became EDM, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um, things are in the way. Okay. Make a pattern with X. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I have to make, I have to make sure that, uh, I have to make sure that the, this, I need to make sure the distance between, oh, I can't, that's really hard to do. I need to know the exact distance between each spike. No. No, 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 I don't need to. Okay, okay, I have an idea. Wow. This thing is getting in my way. What? What is going on?
Okay. I'm gonna move this up all the way. As such. And then I'm going to get a sketch of the top of this. Hmm. I just need one. Just need one of them. Okay. 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 I see an issue if this doesn't work all right let me let me just look at how the pattern will look so circular pattern here select this and I need 20 I said 14 spikes so I need 28 of these okay it looks fine actually okay I was worried okay okay perfect so what I'm going to do is I need this one section by itself and then I can just um, revolve it 14 times or make it a pattern. Yeah, revolve it 14 times. Uh, so I'm going to split face one, two by this sketch and then I'm going to turn off this body. I'm going to turn off this body. And then I'm going to press the pull. Negative one. Hmm. I see. It's having a little sketch problem. I'm just going to split the body instead then. Negative one. All right, so I got that. And so I know there's 14 spikes. So I need 360 divided by 14. Oh no, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, I got it. I'm doing this the hard way. There's probably an easier way to do this. I'm almost quite positive there's an easier way to do this, but <laughs> I like to make it difficult. So what I'm going to do is go here and I'm going to make a line. And from that line, I'm going to make a circular pattern. Oh, no, no, this line around this. And I know I need 28 of them. And then I'm gonna connect this and this. And now I'm going to split. Uh, before I do that, I need to combine them back. Now I'm gonna split this by this quadrant. Now I get rid of this. And now I'm going to pattern, circular pattern uh, on this axis. And I need 28 of them. Bam, there you go. I got the X pattern. Oh, I don't. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I almost had it. But they. They overlapped each other, so that was the issue. They, eh. Since they overlapped each other, they uh. Hmm. Okay, I know what to do. going to make another pattern of course I am 
and uh, let's go here let's make 28 of them I don't need 28 of them I just need two of them that one and that one this is extremely unnecessary but it's gonna get my job done let's put that by this Negative one. Combine them again. Eh, I say combine. And do it one more time on this side. Negative one, and then combine it. All right, now I gotta get rid of these spikes. Willow, welcome back. Hi, hi. <laughs> I like that. Hi, hi. I was wondering when you're gonna pop up, Willow. How you doing, Willow? Hope you're having a good Friday, like everyone else. I hope. And I hope you're getting ready for Easter as well. Let's put this in the trash. I'll keep this X. I'm going to call it X. Just in case I need it later. And now I have that mesh. Once I make this pattern. I swear if I don't though, I'll be a little upset. <laughs> 28. Let's turn off the X. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we're gonna combine them all. Willow says, huh, I'm good, been out and about, just got home. Also, I finally got Venti. You lucky. You lucky. I'm jealous. I can't get Venti for my life. I pulled a Mona yesterday on my pity. So there's no chance of me getting Venti. Unless I like whip out $100. But I'm just going to save mine. But congratulations. I'm proud that you got Venti. I'm sad that I didn't. <laughs> I needed him for a vis. That's not fair. I hate I hate my main account. <laughs> Which is so funny. Because I have two accounts, right? They're both AR55 now. But my main account that I started on has been is getting the worst pulls ever. I'm talking about I got four pities for the weapon banner. I got two Wolf Gravestone and two Favonia Aquila. So no stack of Homa, which I needed. So it ruined that. Wasted 50k Primo Gems on trash. And then now I got a pity pull on Venti, which I needed. And instead I got a Mona. So my main account is like the worst luck ever. However, on my second AR55 account now, I got Stafahoma and a C1 Hu Tao and a C2 Child. It's like that account is just blessed. I, I enjoy playing that account more, but it can't, it can't, it can't get through Abyss as easy as my main account. My main account, the Abyss just released yesterday, and my main account, um, perfect, perfect fourth nine through twelve all stars. I can't do that on my second account. That's the only downside. That's just me venting since I don't have venti. So sad. You pulled Kaching yesterday? Ah, dang. I'm sorry. I, 
I'm sorry. It's okay, you can build up pity towards uh, Elua when she comes out, if anything. Alright, so I'm just gonna color this a little bit. And then I think I'm done with the general shape of uh, the drums. Wow, this is gonna be annoying. Should have, I should have uh, colored it before I uh, combined them together. Well, there's still time. I can still do that. I'm gonna delete all this. the color first before I start um, combining everything just to make it a little easier more presentable okay 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 now when I revolve it it should keep the color Nope, 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 nope. Actually, that that works too. Actually, no. I fixed that. Twenty-eight. Easy. Okay, done deal. And then I just combine that with this. Combine. Combine. Bam. Okay, cool. Now I don't have to paint it. Awesome. <laughs> Elua, I think she looks so pretty. I might skip all the banners until just hers. I love her so much. I do too. I love her design. I love her. What does she do? Like a cartwheel just to swing the sword? So badass. It's so cool. She's like, she's my waifu. She's my new waifu. She's not even released yet. I enjoy her uh, thing. I think she's basically like um, a cryo de loop, I hope. I hope. I hope she hits really hard. Because I would love to have uh, a good Claymore user on my second account. Ch Child's good, but he doesn't put out enough damage on my on my team as of yet. Compared to my Hu Tao it is. I want Ilua to be as strong as Hu Tao. That's what I want her to be. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. Alright, so this concludes that. Now, here's the real challenge. I have to make... I finish one half, I'm going to mirror the other half. But I, before I do that, I need to make this hollow and I need to make it able to connect straps and not fall like roll off the back because uh, I think it's gonna roll off the back if I just have two holes so it has to be a little a little different they're feeding the connect I don't even know how to pronounce that Ka Canarian, Canaria, people something because they're also pretty. I believe it. I believe it. They're a different breed. They're just born different. I, I did not see her coming. Like, whoever, whoever the spoiled that is the, is the champ. Like, they're gonna get, they're gonna get in big trouble for uh, leaking it, but to see that Elua was a thing, that was crazy. Alright, how I think I'm gonna do this is...
I need to go back to my original sketch. Right here. I needed to revolve this one last time. Gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this and make a copy of them and turn it off. I'm gonna call it dark red and light red. Just in case something goes wrong. I need this one too. Gold ring. Alright, so now I have this, this, and that. I'll combine them. And there's a shell tool right here. So I'm gonna take that and I need to turn this off to here. And I can tell them to hollow it out by however thickness I want. So the, I want the walls to be, to be safe. Wait, I have my calipers right here. Oh, they're dead. Uh oh, I need to get a new battery for it. Darn. These last a good couple months. It's okay. I have a ruler. I have a ruler. Twenty millimeters. Ten millimeters is thick. Is good enough. So I'm gonna tip, type in ten millimeters, and that's oh, that's a really too thick. Maybe nine. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. We'll get. I think I can get away with eight. So I got eight millimeters wall thickness, and now it's hollow, as you can see. Cool. A small price to pay for salvation. <laughs> he paid with his life. <laughs> Completely banned from Genshin Impact forever, or jailed because he leaked. I. I could have waited and like if they just dropped it randomly like trailer I would have been like oh my god that's so cool I would have been like completely surprised but I, I get why Bihoyo would be mad all right so that's hollow now and now I can uh, bring out this ring Ooh, ooh, trouble. Trouble, trouble. However, I did save the ring earlier. Gold ring. So I'm just gonna make a copy just in case, again, something happens. Let's put this by that. And then I can trash this. And now I have the gold ring. And now I'll just combine it over. No big deal. Ah, change the color. Okay, okay. So that's that. Now, I need it to attach onto a belt. So obviously this is gonna be laying on my friend's back or butt. I think it's butt? No, upper back. Hmm. I could there's a couple ways I could do this I could make an attachment a hole here and a hole on the back that way it can just like it won't change positions I think that actually I think that's the best way to do it or so I can make a hole here and a hole here and it would hold or I can make one straight hole here but it'll, it'll still roll. I think I'm gonna have to make a hole here and hole back here. Yeah, I think that's the that's the way to do it. Mm. 
check my email so real quick. I have uh, someone order, I mean, uh, message me about one of their orders. I have, I have some, I have a lot of people ask me, is like, why don't you sell like um, finished weapons, like fully painted? Like, especially right now, uh, the recent uh, YouTube video I dropped for Festering in Desire, they're like, oh, can you sell the, the full thing? I'm like, oh man, that took me, that took me a long time to paint and sand and prime. I don't know. It's always a scary thing. Cause there's a lot of work. All right, that is how I'm gonna do it. If I if I remember right, I need to figure out how long wide her strap's gonna be. I think it's gonna be three inches wide, no more than that. It might be less, two and a half. So, 65 millimeters. Alright, alright y'all, this is the plan. 65 divided by 2 is 30. Well, let's just go with 64. So, 32. 32. 32, huh? Probably four move. Uh, what? Thirty-two. I said. No, I need. I can just do sixty-five for now. Sixty-five by four millimeters should be good enough. Sixty-five. I can move this now. Now let's take a look at her back one more time. straight on photo. I think it might be on the reds, red areas each. So I'm like thinking like this. So it might be too big. So I'm gonna shorten this. Something like that, I think. Let me see how, that's 49, so five centimeters. I think I can get away with five centimeters. And then I'm going to make a pattern circular. So like this around this axis. Um, I don't need I need an angle of 90, please. A negative 90 just two. Oh no, 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 wait. 180 is fine, negative 180. Three, because I don't need this one. So I'm gonna hold this. Mm, I could do this now or I could do this later, but I basically cut this shape out of here, this shape out of here, and then there will be two holes 
so a strap can go through and then connect to the back. So that's how I do that. But I think the biggest thing I need to worry about now is um, this one ring. Where is it? Dark red, dark red. X, this. No, this one. So I'm going to combine them. Uh, let's not do that. Sure, I'll do this for now. Okay. Okay, okay. I need to save one spike. As a base to uh, dirty print. And now what I'm gonna do is do boundary fill. I'm gonna hit all these spikes. I'm gonna use the cut tool. Now they're gonna cut, I'm gonna have to turn them off though. And then I'm gonna throw it like that. Put this in the trash, I don't need it anymore. Then I have that single spike there. So they're cut in already. Then I could just um, 3D print it and just put it in. Because it would be too hard to print this like as it is going this way or the other way. Hmm. So here we are. So we're here, now I gotta connect this lid with this lid. I said screw, and I think I still might go with that. Let me turn off all the sketches real quick. Excuse me, I need the center point. So I'm about to show you how to make threads. First, you need your first original thread as such. Uh, 
Yeah, I need that. And you want to see how far do you want this thread to be? I say seven millimeters is fine. You don't want too many. You don't want it to be like too uh, too long. Then I cut. Then I do the same thread. And I bring it up by what is this seven? I'll go back to this. I think I messed up. Oh, I went eight. That's right. Okay, okay. Let me make sure this is eight as well. And to be extra safe, what I'm gonna do, I had this happen before, but I don't, I don't want it to do it again. Is I'm gonna turn on. We call this lid. What's gonna happen is. Um, I'm gonna boundary fill the difference. Cut. And make sure it's not gonna intersect with my uh, with my plan. All right, so I'm gonna turn off this lid. Now I got this ring, right? And you might be asking, "Whoa, what this ring is?" It, might, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's make sure I do this first. Whoa, that covers my whole screen. <laughs> Thanks for the subscription from Anna Rose and so I also got um, Saka Sakuchawan 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 I don't I'm sorry if I mispronounced that but thanks for the subscription I'm gonna do doo -doo. new body and I'm going to fillet this. No, chamfer. As such, it's easier to print that way as well. Okay, I'm gonna combine this, this. Okay, once I do this, I can't go back, so I might as well save this half. Now I can't go back if something happens. No, other way, please. So there's a thread tool, right? Thread right here. You just click the surface you want. But I want the outer surface. What is going on? Confused on why I can't select the out the outside. This doesn't make any sense. All right, I'll cheat. It's fine. Just 
cheat. This is a very strange occurrence right now. So I, I should be able to thread and select the face of, of the inside here, but I can't for some reason. Let me go back. I'm thinking it was the original sketch I did. Yeah, delete some of these. Is quite annoying right now. Okay. Honestly, don't know what's happening. It should let me do what I need to do. See, I can do it now. Okay. There's uh, It's probably cuz it's not a complete it wasn't a complete like ring or something. But I couldn't thread it because the circle wasn't a perfect circle. It was a perfect circle on the inside, but for some reason it wasn't a per perfect circle on the outside. Like there's no cuts in this outside of the ring. That's the only thing I could think of. All right, so I got that. This goes in there. So I need it on the outside. And that means I gotta fix this lid because that means that the, the ring, fixed ring. That means this was wrong. So I'm gonna just join it together and then um, uh, I'll just do this, do a boundary fill, nope, wrong one. Cut it, get rid of the fixed ring, and now I should be able to thread it. Like, th yeah, exactly, okay. So right now my diameter is 61. So I have to make sure when I thread it, I stick with this. So my diameter is... It should be 120, I can go bigger. Hmm. 
Nope, too big. By the way, 130. Yeah, 130 is fine. Just too shallow. I think 130 is the way to go. Uh, this doesn't, this shows how many like, that's too many threads. I like to keep it simple like that. So 130, six, right hand. So I do that, and then I do the fixed ring one. So let me turn off the lid. Thread. One, thirty, six, right hand. Model it. Okay, so I got this, and I got the lid. I need the other half. And then I need that one piece exactly. So combine this with this to combine with that. Oh, wait. Let me combine the other way. That way I don't have to change colors. Okay. So right now it's threaded. And it'll thread right into this ring or this lid. So there's gonna be one on each side. Take it back a little bit. The reason why I'm taking it back right now is because I'm gonna I'm about to um, this other half, right? Yeah, I need to take it back. Okay, okay. I make sure I do this right. Or I could really mess something up. Alright, combine this with this. What is this? Oh. Slice that off real quick. Trash. Combine that as well. And we got a fixed ring. And now I got a mirror. The reason why I did that was if I put the thread here, it would be a right turn twist cap. But if I if I just left it there and mirrored it after, then the other side is gonna be a left turn twist cap. And this happened this happened on my toga canisters too, where one lid was left cap and then the other lid was right cap. And it, it got annoying because you don't know which one's what until you actually put it on and see if it actually twists or not. So if I just do it, model it this way, I don't have to model another lid. I can use the same lid and then the lid can fit on either side. That's, that's my thought process for that. So now I can thread this. 130, six, 
model right hand and then I repeat it 130 six model right hand done okay so we got that and now this is we call it hole fixed ring there fixed ring there now we can come oh also what I like to do is um, to give it a little more leeway to twist I usually minus one there yeah uh, but I might not need that actually I might not need that because it is just spikes So just like that. Michaela, hi. Hey, welcome. Cool. I never thought about mirroring it. It would change how lids would work. Yeah, I had a le I learned that from mistakes. Like it was a bad mistake I did before. It was really annoying. I think I sent customers, my first customer who ordered a Toga canister, I sent them to him like that. I'm like, "Hey, I forgot to mention these lids are opposite so I don't know how you're gonna mark them you gotta know left lid is left side right and I, that was so annoying but it was a good thing I fixed it now because that would have been very troublesome later on but welcome Michaela I'm glad you joined the stream Giovanni why you always combine parts doesn't it make it harder if you need to change them change something yes it does make it harder um so that's why i make i have backup backup parts so if something here was bad for some reason then i could go back go back to this half and change it from there um the only reason i'm combining parts is because i'm pretty confident of i'm pretty much done with this like I want it hollow. This is pretty much end product right now, and that's why I'm combining it. So I'm almost done. Uh, the only thing I'm missing now is these strap holes, and the only reason I'm not gonna, I'm hesitating on that, is because I don't. I, won't, I want to make sure this is the right size drum. Yeah. The distance between these two is 186, so 18 centimeters. So it'll be about this big, which, which is incorrect, I think. I am way bigger than that. So yeah, this drum is excessively large. It should be from side to side. It should be around 30, 300 millimeters from one side to the other. So this is the wrong size. This is pretty small. So like you said, right now would be a good time of why I'm combining parts. This would be a mistake. So this is why you shouldn't sometimes. Because this is wrong. I need to change this right now. However, I can just go back a little bit. I think to this. And unselect this. Because I don't need that. And bam. Now this is a separate part. Yeah. Yeah. So I can enlarge I can enlarge this now. This side. And then combine this separately later. But yeah. I have errors, but these are like... They're not game-changing errors. This is combining errors, which was due to this. But yeah. Usually you want to combine at the very end. So you write on that. Uh, but I only do it to, to save me time on mirroring. All right. So we got our lid here. Now the lid actually fits on the other side as well. 
Um, so I'm just gonna repaint paint the lid real quick. You got an example really fast? Yeah. <laughs> Do I play get Oh, um yes, kinda. I stream it sometimes, but uh not I don't have any games specifically as of right now that I play like hardcore as much as I play Genshin. But if we look on my desktop here. I play Devour, I play Among Us sometimes, very rare, play Home Sweet Home. This this game just came out like a week ago, so I've been playing that a lot. And then uh, Phasmophobia, which I don't have it, it's, it's not here for some reason. Is that crazy? Phasmophobia, um, and that's basically for online games. I don't have too much time to play video games anymore which reminds me i still gotta do my dailies for genshin <laughs> yes they did i i played it um a couple days ago and actually michaela or mika das uh was actually uh she joined my lobby so we played a couple of uh, games together but uh, new map is very big it's like ex extremely big and confusing but it's it's very cool and interesting. But uh, it was very big. Like we got lost a couple times. All right. So I said that the problem was that uh, uh, what was the problem? The drums too small. Yeah. So I gotta change that. Cause right now the drum's pretty like this small. I need it to be like pretty big. So... Let's take a look. By the look of it, it's wider than her waist, smaller than her hips. I say 13 inches from tip to tip. So 33, let's go with 30. We could try 30. So, so, so. This is how I ought to go about it. So obviously what I'm saying is this is wrong. Wrong size. This, this is right, but th the drum part is wrong. Let me mirror this and this to that. Take this spike, take spike. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call it original. Now I can put everything in it basically. Put it into the original. Then I'm gonna copy this. Uh, let's not move it up. Let's move it back. Let's move it down. And let's scale.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered something. Lil says, I haven't had time to play, but I heard it was a fun map. Yeah, very, very different uh, mini games or tasks now. Some of them are like, you gotta get self, cell phone reception. Some of them you gotta put guns away. You gotta cook burgers. Very, very different uh, tasks. They're fun. Some of them are extremely long. There's one where you have to throw switches in order of number, but you don't know which ones are switches and they're all in a different rooms or sections. It is annoying. <laughs> and then uh, Mika Das says, is that the one where we played hide and seek? Yeah. Mika, that was the one uh, where we played hide and seek. So that was the brand new map where we played. We wanna, does this map make the game last longer? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a very, very big max map, but it's it's like big tight. Like there's a lot of different rooms, but the, it's not like big areas. It's more like a lot of rooms in a in a ship, in an airship. So if you had two imposters, they could get a they could get around killing people pretty quick. Mika says, also the moment when the game survey asked if if I got Venti and I just glanced at Lee at Kaching and I got it when I lost. Aw, oh, dang. I didn't even answer the survey yet. I'm about to say, hey, I didn't get Venti either. You gave me a Mona instead. Sucks. That sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry about uh, getting Kaching instead of Venti. So sad. Okay. I gotta scale this, 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 this. Uniform. Uh, let's go with. It has to be double, so maybe two. Oh, that's pretty big. Maybe one point eight. Uh, let's try 1.5 We're looking for the magic number of 300 between one end to the other So we're talking about here To here Oh, okay, too big Too big. I'm guessing it's gonna be like 25, 1.25. Ooh, a little, little too short. Two nine nine. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so that's that. Um, 
this is the proper size now. Let me. Where are those little things? Might as well combine them. about there all right so this is this should be the proper size now and uh i'm gonna print this out pretty much oh mm, i just remember something <sighs> the only reason why i made it whole uh Combining them in the first place was because it could fit. This can fit on my printer and print because it's tall enough. It's like this is too tall. I believe it's too tall. So I gotta cut it down a little bit more. My printer only can print up to 200 millimeters. So this is obviously 262. So it's 62 millimeters too high. So I can split it in half. Yes. Or, yeah, probably split it in half. I got nothing else to do. Dang. The scaling really messed me up. It's fine. It's whatever. I can leave the threads. Alright, I'll do, I guess I'll do that real quick. And I'll just super, super glue it together. Put some, uh epoxy on the in the inside so it doesn't break no matter what i think that might be the plan to go i can make it lock in nah actually it would be better if it was just flat like that too easier to print yes so, they're not flipped around. Is the design on the drum face on both sides? Yes. And they're not... Oh my good... Wait. What? I didn't... Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't need this one. This is the wrong one. So, when I... I print two of these, so they'll it'll be in the right... Um, it won't be mirrored. So I print two of these. This is actually a fake, fake lid. I just do that um, just to show y'all. But um, but yes, it's on both sides. We're we're looking at the pictures earlier, and it's on the right side there, and then left side there. So, yep. I might, I'll change. It looks like the right one is positioned in the bottom right corner lettering. And this one is bottom left. So towards, no, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Okay, good. So I'm on the right track. Mm, the last thing is to do this thing. A fake. Yes, it's just a fake. It's not real. <laughs> Let me... Okay. I think I can move these down a little bit. Make it a four instead. It's safe.
Okay. And now... Done. Bam, bam, done. Uh, so I got one... I got two separate halves. I probably need some... I think alignment pegs. So I'm gonna make some alignment pegs so I can connect them easier. Yes! Um, all the spikes... This is just one spike for now. Uh, I already made the other ones, but <laughs> I threw them in the trash bin by accident. But I'll show you what they look like. Uh, pretty easy. I'll just do it right now. Might as well. Uh, I'll do it on the, the smaller model. That, I think I said 14, I believe. And that's what they look like. Reno says, looking good. Thanks, Reno. Gala says, just wanted to say this is always such an awesome process. Thanks for streaming while you create this project. Oh, thank you. I'm just glad that uh, people will actually take interest or have somewhat of interest in me streaming this. I didn't think anyone would care. They, usually people only care about the end result. No one really wants to know how to model or the process of how to make things so i'm just glad that uh y'all are just here I'm just checking out my stream at all <laughs> so thanks again for joining my stream all right so i'm gonna make a lineman peg I want it to be like 10 millimeters right here. I don't think it's safe to put any alignment pegs here. No, I'd rather... Mm, maybe one each, one in each uh, section. And only five millimeters. It'll be, it'll be a lot easier to uh, align the two halves together. So I'm gonna do a circular pattern. Four of them, please. But I don't need this one. And these are bigger pegs. Ah, I might not be able to use that one. Let's bring this one in. Like that. Okay. Now let's extrude these. Ah, why does it do that? There's a sketch in the way. So, I think 10 is good. With the other half do symmetric. So it cuts into both sides. And bam, that's the first set of uh, alignment pegs. I need to uh, put all these spikes in a folder because they're they are uh, taking up my. Uh, I, that's why I delete. I put them in the trash. They uh, took up took up the <laughs> the freaking timeline right here. And just move them to spikes. And then I'm on my last sketch here. So I'll I think I'll start this print tonight. Hopefully everything works out well. I hope. This one should only be like six. No, six. Yeah. Okay. 
to be maybe left side left side right side real lid okay so that's that so that's the, that's this is the proper size now off off the image her vision probably smaller that's why it was like that no her vision is pretty it should based on the in-game model now looking at it, her vision is not regular size like the ones i have it's a, a really large vision that's why i threw off my scale so makes sense you know says do you have any new getchen cosplay plan um, I tell you which ones we have masks for. So I made a mask for my Abyss mages. So I have three Abyss masks for Cryo, Hydro, and Pyro. And then I have my Hilly Troll mask. So I got those four pretty much almost. Hilly Troll is like the closest one to completion, followed by uh, the Abyss mages, I guess. And then, but the one I really want to work on next is is um, Pyro Agent, Fatui Pyro Agent. That's what I want to work on next. That's my uh, that's my plan. Okay, I think I'm. Now the last thing I said was I needed. Uh, I needed strap holes, which reminds me that uh, I recently used something that needed strap holes. I'm trying to figure out what it was. Oh, it was a bis mask. Oh, I deleted it. Crap. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. I have it. I have it. I have it. No, wait, I don't have it. Not on this crap. I don't have it on, on this one. Who else has... Whatever, I can't find it, so I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. What did I say before? Three inches? No, no, no. Six centimeters. So 60. That's what I said before. copy of this. Actually, I think I have one over there. Ah. Ah. I see, I see. Wait, I never noticed Abyss Mages had different masks. Yeah, they, the only, their masks only differ in color. So I just printed three of the same masks and then we're gonna paint them differently. I accidentally painted my very first one white because I'm like, oh, they all have the same mask, right? And then we looked over and it's like, my partner's like, hey, you're gonna be a Cryo Mage? I'm like, no, I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be like a Pyro Mage or something or Hydro. She's like, then why'd you paint it white? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, 
you know, they all have different color masks, right? I'm like, shut up. Shut up. And I pulled it up. I'm like, god dang it. You're right. And so I had to print two more, and that's why I have three. So there's like black, uh, white. I forgot the other color. Blue or something? But that was pretty interesting to learn. Mika says, when the pyro icon is just a huge music fan, I grant this girl an extra large vision. <laughs> yeah, she deserved a very large vision to hold her, uh, her bass and all of her uh, instrumental. There's a one hit, one band, per, one person band. Yeah, that's what, she, what it is. Giovanna says, <laughs> I would do the same. Oh, FBI, welcome back, FBI. I was wondering where you went, missed you. But uh, welcome to the stream. I'm pretty much almost, not almost, no, I'm almost done with the Shin, Shin Yen drums. This is what it looks like. This is the wrong size though. So I'm working on fixing that right now. And uh, I'm going to be adding straps or strap holes to it to make it easier to wear. In your head, the mask, all the masks are white too. I swear, I think everyone thinks of this mask are white. I thought it was white. <laughs> we learn something new every day. If we, if, I, I wonder if we took, um, if everyone took a pop quiz on, uh, on the Abyss Mage, they're gonna be like, hey, so what color mask is the, is the Pyro Mage? And everyone would be like, white, right? And then it's like, okay, what's Hydro? White. Cryo, white. No, all wrong, except the Cryo. It was so funny. Rectangle. Center. That's right. I need to do this. Sketch earlier. Edit sketch. Bam. Sixty. New body. <laughs> Hello, FBI friend of Latin America. <laughs> the clown, my clown or jester from Latin America. Yeah, same. I play on low frame rate and all looks crisp, crispy to me. Uh, am I reinforcing the walls of the drum? Uh, the walls of the drum are around 10 millimeters right now or 8. So I don't need to reinforce them. Just... It's going to be three layer lines on both sides and then with its infill of probably, I don't know which infill type I'm going to use, but it'll reinforce it enough. I don't, it, it'll be hollow, it'll have some pattern infill, but it'll be strong enough. It won't, it won't break or anything. I don't, I don't want it to be too heavy, so I'm trying to keep the infill low. I noticed not too long ago that the Archons had different vision too. Explain. What do you mean different vision? Like, explain Venti. How is his vision different? He has a wing on it. That's about it. FBI. As always, the dog is the protagonist. Clown. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll angle it just a little lower for you. He's the star. He's speaking right now. So, if he wakes... And he demands food we must provide as, you know, we have to. Okay. Okay, okay. I was in the middle of this. 
So I'll position it first. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. Okay. I gotta make sure I position. I don't want to pull up. I don't want to open my game to figure out where these straps are. Dang. Oh yeah, got a picture of this. You like the double rainbow in the game? Did y'all know there's double rainbows in Genshin? Double rainbow. Pretty wild. Venti and Zhongli visions are mirrored because their visions are fake ones. Like how I wear black diamond. Oh, sorry, that's not the same sentence. Unless he doesn't have a vision, he just carries a glowing glass ball that serves no purpose other than decoration. Yeah, I figured. But a lot of people made that, um, uh, said that on Twitter. But I was like, wait, vision, Venti's vision flipped around is still, uh, still, um, uh, animal vision. So that was funny. I'm like, how do you know? Zhongli is the only one you who can prove for this, but you're y'all correct. Yeah, I seen Zhongli scissors like reversed, which threw me off because I'm like, have I been making these visions wrong this whole time? Like, do I have to remake all these geo visions and send everyone a new one? No, no, that's not right. But what I we also did a little bit of research too, in game. I think if you look on all the pyro characters, all of them. Some of them are mirrored to each other. Like I think Shinyans and Ambers are mirrored pyro. Usually this, the flames go to the right, but over on the other up Shinyan, it would like go to the left kind of thing. And if you look on all the pyro characters, some of them are like that too. So some of them are just mirrored just like that. So it's weird. Jasper says, I like how I wear a black diamond under my eye. Great example, Willow Dreams there are, never knew. Wait, where can I see these rainbows? You have to be very lucky to see these rainbows. Like, it has to be raining. Like, yeah. My partner took the screenshot of this one. I. I saw one in my game, but I couldn't take the screenshot fast enough because they, they go by pretty quick. But whenever it rains, just look around and you might see a double rainbow. Venti's is fake to blend in. Ah, uh, yeah. All of them are fake. So we don't know who is actually Archon or not. Amber Archon? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. This Amber can't be Archon. I thought they really cool. It's a nice detail. Yeah, I like how Genshin like pays a lot of uh, attention to the to the game. All right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna jump on Genshin on my phone so I can make sure I position these straps right. Cause uh, I don't want to mess this part up. I think it's like here. One sec. Feel free to uh, talk amongst yourself or ask me anything. What characters you have? What's your party setup? I have two accounts. Uh, main account uses Zhao, Zhongli, Bennett, and Razor. Uh, Razor and Zhongli. I mean, Razor and Zhao as like. DPS and then Bennett as the best support in the game and Zhongli as the best shield support in the game Second account I have Hu Tao. I run her with Diona That's the team in itself And then the second sub team would be like Ningguang, Beto and Child with a Bennett Binds Bennett, Traveler, Chengyong and Jiangling Nice. I can't. I want to level up. I was trying to do Abyss and uh, Zhang Li plus Tra Geo Traveler. Really good combo when they have the resonance thing. When Geo Traveler puts down his ultimate, so that helped me get through 
the 12th floor and get three stars. That helped a lot. So that's why I want to level up my Geo Traveler. Betty has one. Wait. Have you seen the Archon Circle images? Benty has one with his regular skill. Zhongli with his ultimate, but also Bennett with his ultimate. Therefore, Bennett is the Pyro Archon. I rest my case. I believe you. Bennett is the Pyro Archon. He's been joking. No one wants to friend him. But in reality, he's judging everyone to see if they're worthy of his presence. No one's worthy. But. He's the best support in the game, he has to be the Pyro Archon. A Nemo Supremacy? Nah. It's soon to be Cryo Supremacy once Elua comes out. Alright, logging in right now. I might as well make. pattern of this. It's the front. I think I could trash that one and this one. I got a new follower on Facebook. Woo! Uh oh. I, I, I just remembered I uh I logged out last time right before Pyro, right, be, right after I killed a Pyro Regis Vine, so it's attacking me right now. Alright. Alright, Shinyan, where you at? Okay, I see. I see, I see. So it is located more towards the center. Like here. No, more towards the right. Like this, yeah. Is that how it holds on? Oh no. Oh no, okay. I was about to show y'all something I didn't notice before. So it's it's more of a backpack. So I don't know if you can see the fur the strap on her front right there wraps around to uh to the to the drum. So it wraps around here. And then the one on her back wraps around here. So it's literally like a backpack. That changes things. That's annoying. Dang. Why this is annoying is because I thought it was just the back strap holding it, but it it actually connects to the front front strap. So I actually need to talk to my partner and ask ask her what leather strap she's 
planning to use. That way I can adjust this to that. Yeah. Dang. And she uses like uh, a clip onto it. So I want to know if she's she wants she cares if the strap just goes through the hole or she wants to clip it in. Dang. Try to get a better picture. Oh wait, I can pose her. That's right. Okay, so this is how it works, which I never paid attention to because I couldn't ever see it until now. So, dang. All right, not too bad, but I can't finish it today because of that. But that was the last thing I needed to do. That's sad. All right, what did Reno say? Oh yeah, Cryo is close second. I used Chi Chi a lot. But Jasper says, by the way, on your next stream for Genshin Impact gameplay, let me kill Fatui Harbinger agents and mage with you. I'm professional in that area because Fatui extension Zetsu Momentsu Rise. What? If I ever stream Genshin again, usually there's nothing too much to stream. It's just me. It would be just me. It would be pretty boring stream. Just me doing dailies and everything. It would be no different from what everyone else is doing, you know. Actually, why don't use Velcro strap? Uh. You got a point. I don't know. It depends on my partner. It depends on how authentic she wants to stick with the game. So I'm going to ask her how she wants to do this. Because she has to make the harness. And I'll be like, hey, so this harness, what do you want to use? you want to use clips or do you want to make a whole strap go through it? Let me know and then I'll adjust the model to that. But um, yes, that is where I will stop. So that's basically all I can do until I get an answer from her. So this is what it'll look like once complete. So we can bask in the glory of Shin Yen's drum right there. Zera Sumetsu means extinction. Ah, so you are. I cause Fatui extinction. Extinction. I. What, why do you need to farm Fatui? Are you trying to. Who are you trying to level up? That you need Fatui agents. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Oh, thanks for joining Reno and hopping in at the last moment. I'm so out of things to do in Genshin that I keep creating challenges for myself. Like, if I kill that monster using Diona and Barba DPS. No, I totally, I totally agree with you. There's like, I wish there, I wish there was a better challenge. Abyss is fun, but I beat it in a day. I wish there was uh, some other challenge mode for us to play, because I. I pretty much got our, all the artifacts that I need. I can't get any better than what I have, you know. And all my characters that I main, they're already maxed out. And talents are all based on the weekly bosses. So like, if I didn't get it, I farm all the weekly bosses on, on one day on Monday. And if I don't get the material I need from them, there's no point of trying to get the books or anything. So. It's very uh, content dry right now for me as well, and it sucks. The only thing saving me is that I have two accounts, so I can flip flop between playing the two, and uh, that's about it. 
But yeah, I wish there was more to do around. I wish there was like a co-op abyss. A challenge mode abyss or something. It would be something to do at least. Jasper says, no, nothing important. Just want to kill them because they're too weak. Because they're too weak. You must have a vendetta against against all the Fatui Harbingers and agents and everything. But definitely, I'll let you know whenever I do stream Genshin. And then you can hop into my world where I hop into yours and you can start wiping them out and collecting little uh, drops from them. I forgot the badges, Fatui badges. Willa says, I feel like there isn't a lot of substance regarding the events. Like they're fun at first, but the yeah. No, I totally agree. You you play it like ten times and you're done. You're tired after there after ten times, it becomes a chore. And you're like, just give me my primo gems, I'm done. Yeah, I, I totally agree. They and they're not the events are not even challenging it's just like a mini game you know if there was a real challenge and difficulty like a raid boss then it would be worth it but it is what it is i hope they fix that like it's just a dry spell right now Yula says yeah i wanted for us to get a challenge to play against our friends too it would be fun yeah uh they're never gonna incorporate PvP, I don't think so. But if they did, that would be cool. You know, I it was if they made the mini the mini games in the game or mini events where you actually instead of working together, you actually go against your teammates. If then they made that a standard where you're trying to compete for a higher score rather than work together, I would enjoy that a little better than um, you know them making us work together on these dumb little mini games because obviously we're just gonna destroy whatever mini game or boss that gets in our way but if the bosses were each other that would be different or or okay okay so you know that's uh the tower mechanica thing uh if they had like they made two lanes you get a lane and then your opponent gets a lane and you have to see who gets the highest score or blah 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 or kind of like any any app tower defense game that um, you play that every time you get a certain point you can send certain enemies over to them and then it, it come, becomes like a, a versus tower defense game that would be cool but the housing thing that they're coming out with should be cool their little uh, housing program thing I can't wait to build my own little home. That should be fun. That that will keep me busy in 1.5 for a couple, for a few weeks. I could say that. But I, I wonder how, how we're gonna build the furniture. Whether we build it or we have to um, earn a currency to buy it kind of thing. I know in Hanukkah Impact, they had they use the current in-game currency for their housing system as well as uh, a separate uh, housing system currency if I remember right I played Hanukkah Impact a lot so it would be cool to see what they do but yeah um, that pretty much concludes the stream I might stream I don't know what I'm gonna stream next I think I'm gonna start hitting the list that we collected together so that that bow um, yeah I think I will part probably model that bow and the other weapons that we talked about last time or you can see me finish my solar pearl I have that almost done I just need the inner component. But yeah. Just think of the characters that have those kinds of printable objects on them. Just think of characters that have those kind of printable objects on them. Yeah. A lot of people have been uh, asking me for like accessories. When are you going to do a venti 
full venti vision and stuff like that. It was a nice stream. Good night. Thanks, Willow. Have a good night. I'm glad you liked the stream. I think I'm gonna call it a night too. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. Oh crap, it's 1140? Yeah, so I gotta go eat and then I'm gonna go uh, do my dailies and then uh, I don't know when the next stream is but it probably won't be this weekend because we got Easter weekend. I hope everyone is doing something on Easter with their family or something. Uh, probably Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. But um, yeah, that's about it. I will catch everyone next time on my next stream. I'm gonna go eat now because I'm hungry. I'm gonna take this little one over here to go to the restroom and uh, play around a little bit. But um, thanks everyone for joining my stream. Have a good night. Um, I hope everyone saw my recent YouTube video. I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Let me see if it's uh, on my page. Uh, oh shoot. I forgot to put it in my favorites. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Dun, 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 dun. This one. This one. This one. Crap. Go to the videos. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone saw this video of me making how I made and painted. I finally painted my festering desires. So that was pretty cool. Made a whole video just in case any anyone who bought a kit so far, they can watch this and see how I did it. But um, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see what y'all said real quick. Have a nice. It was nice being here. Jasper says you could do razor. You know the necklace he wears. That's true. I was thinking about doing that. Ah, you're right. I think I might do that because it's so easy. Giovanna says thank you for the stream. Thanks for coming. Have a good night and uh, nice meal. Yes, thank you. I hope. I don't know what time it is there for you, but. Have a good night or a good dinner for you. And me, Michaela says, thanks for the fun stream. Your YouTube videos are always amazing. Showcase of the finished product. Thanks. I'm glad you like them. Uh, that really does mean a lot. Uh, yeah. Slowly but surely, I will build up, get better at uh, making YouTube videos eventually. It just takes a lot of time sometimes. But yeah, good night. See you next stream. More fan mail coming up for me, I guess. More fan mail coming up for me. Are you talking about more challenges? You already challenged me once. Oh yeah, I gotta send you. I gotta send you the tomorrow. Uh, I'll send you the 3D model of um, the the sickles for sure. But yeah. Anyways, I'm out now. Uh, goodbye, everyone. I'll catch you on the next stream. And uh, thanks again for being here. It's always fun talking to, to y'all. So y'all are really dedicated. I really like that. More fan mail means more designs from me, but I do post challenges sometimes. Oh, I got you, Jasper. I got you. All right, time to go eat. Good night, everyone. <laughs>